everybody, Kelly here from Kelly Got Plans. Thank you so much for joining me today as I decorate my bullet journal that I use as a bullet journal for the week of the 17th, no, 6th, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24th. So the week of the 18th through the 24th. And there we go. Uh, I am filming ahead, so that's why these spreads are blank right now. But um, the first thing that I want to do is actually put in my lines for this. And I really like this kind of style of layout. I think it's really, uh, like, not cute. I almost said cute, though. Uh, but I really do think that it just works for what I personally want. So like, I just like to have something that uh, I can just kind of like jot my thoughts down real quick and that's kind of it. And I just really like the way that this spread like kind of flows when I write in it. So that's why you'll definitely see me going back to this one a lot. Uh, this little layout because it just works. And if something works, keep doing it. Am I right? All right. So what I want to do is I've been grabbing a lot of old sticker books, but I grabbed the flowers one because I really want to use these ones. Now, what my master plan is, is to just have them kind of be like this and to just kind of fill in as much of this space as possible. Uh, with these flowers and then to kind of go from there. Now, I will admit these were, everybody loved these flowers when these first came out. And I was like, oh, they're like this. I was like, not that cute, y'all. But they've grown on me a bit. So I'm not going to say that I hate them, but I still have thoughts about them and to me they just look like eyeballs that's honestly what it is a lot of for me is that they just look like gigantic eyeballs oh this is massive that's too big actually all right let's do this one and I kind of want that side to be a little bit more full, so we'll see what I can what I can do, if you know what I mean. All right. So let's put you down. Definitely got some of you. And then let's see. This is a ginormous stika. There we go. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut off this excess, which it's times like these that I actually wish that this were disc bound. Um, otherwise, I love that this isn't disc bound. I do love doing something outside of my traditional happy planner but sometimes disbound's just easier you know so all right i definitely missed a few things here i don't know how i missed it this is the part that always gets me is how like the edges and cutting these edges and making them look nice and rounded like how they look on the actual paper. 
All right, almost there. Ugh, come off. Okay. Almost there. All right. My gosh, you guys, this is so cute. All right. And I also honestly think that this is a good spread for summer. So, all right, let's cut off. I just have to debate the easiest way to do this. And there's, I find that there's never like one way to do this that I think it depends. I don't know if it depends on like my mood or what, but sometimes I just find I'm just debating how to cut it. So, all right. And then we're gonna cut, oopsies, we're gonna cut down, cute. And then we're gonna cut, this one's gonna kind of wrap around. Ha ha! All right, flip it over. Cute. All right. So, like I said, I definitely want, I'm actually gonna cut this a little straighter. There. All right. Cute. So now, what do I want to do? How do, I, oh, I wanted to add in a few more smaller flowers. Maybe I'll just add you down here. But I do have some small ones, but these like are not, like I wish, honestly, I wish they were even a little smaller, but they're not. So we're working with what we got, you know? All right, let's cut off this little, oh goodness, I have schmutz everywhere. All right, let's cut here. Well, maybe. That was not even. Not gonna lie, this is definitely where big scissors come in handy. All right, and then I feel like I could put a few of these little guys maybe down in here. Kinda there, yeah, okay. And I could do, no, I don't want that there, okay. And then these are about the same size, so. And these are about the same size, so no. All right, so now what I need to do is put in some boxes. And I think there's some yellow in here. And I'm wondering, I can't, I, mm, oh, that's way too bright. Mm, okay, so I want to find more of a, oh, but these pinks work. So, I'm actually going to pull this pink. Or what if I did something really different? And that is to... Put this, nope, nope, nope. Just line it up here, right there. And put all my dates on the inside. Something a little different. And then we'll do this one. Okay. And then what I was thinking, I'm going to go and look at my other sticker books because this yellow is, I mean, just yellow, yellow, and this is much darker. So I'm wondering if like the fall sticker book would have like a darker, the, or sorry, the summer boxes sticker book would, or 
fall boxes, oh my gosh, y'all, would have a better yellow because this seems kind of more maybe a fallish yellow. So I'm going to go grab my big box of all four of these and we're going to see if there's a better yellow. So fingers crossed. That doesn't work. No, maybe not. No, that's more tan. Nope. Okay, so that was a no-go. Let's check out winter. Because I wonder... Well, I don't know. Winter <laughs> might not have any yellows either. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, it has those. It has those. Nope. Oh, it has these blues. These blues would work because they kind of match that blue. So instead of doing the yellow, I'm just going to grab the blue and do this one cute all right I really like how this looks so cute 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 all right so now I don't need this anymore Okay, now I just need to put in the dates. So this is Monday. All right. So here it is, here is this spread. I think this spread is really cute. I really liked the way this came out. And I think it's just something a little different, but I also think that it will work really, really well. So I'm excited to write in the spread, get everything all taken care of, and you know, put all my thoughts and feelings down on paper. All right, so with that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this spread, and if you did, please let me know in the comments down below or give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, uh, please be sure to go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I'm on the road to a thousand, and each day I get a little bit closer, so if you haven't subscribed, I would love if you would go ahead and subscribe for me today. And that's it. So as always, everyone, be sure to stay safe out there. And I hope that y'all have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.